Hello everybody, this is just a quick update on the last glitch that I posted. And as you can see, you can also do this with enchanted sundials, which sell for uh, two, three gold, I believe. So that's a, that's a way to get, if you don't have uh, monoliths yet, like if you have beaten or gotten to the uh, solar, uh, the lunar event, and have beaten one of the pillars, one of the four pillars, um, then, yeah, you can also, if you get a golden crate and get sundials, that's a good way to get a lot of money. So, this is just a quick update. Um, so for this video, actually, we need to go into single player. Now, uh, why we're going into single player is because today, if you haven't already uh, seen by the title, we're doing a fishing glitch. So, what you want to do for this glitch is you want to go into settings and turn auto pause on. Now, the reason you want this is so that whenever you're in your inventory, you cannot move. As you can see, like if I get my dragon down here, it is not moving. Right? Like I can move things around in my inventory, but I cannot move at all. Now, the reason we want this is because this glitch. Uh, you need lots of items, so actually, I'm not used to this. We're gonna want to get this works rich mahogany. That that works, and you're gonna want to put that in your inventory, and you're just gonna want to throw out a line. Now I'm moving this at the ocean. You can do this anywhere that uh, is good for fishing. Um, so you want to throw your fishing line out. And then you want to take a single bot, you want to, this is for a computer, you want to right click once with the whatever block, and you want there to be a lot, and then you want to right click again outside of your inventory, and then boom. Wherever you threw this out is the direction that two more lines are going to pop out. See, like, so you can do this forever. And now, I know this has all been done before, um, I just wanted to get this out there, just in case you didn't know, and actually do a tutorial video, since that's half the name of the channel. And so, this glitch does work, and it's a great way to get crates for the last glitch, actually. And so, as you can see, um, you can get pretty much infinite lines. Wherever you put out the wood is where all of the uh, the two more lines are going to go. And so, you can get infinite lines, uh, pretty much. Uh, now, I know I don't have the golden fishing rod. It would be better if I did have the golden fishing rod, because then uh, I would get a lot more catches at the same time. Uh, but I don't, which is just fine. Uh, but as you can see, right, you can, like, go around, right, and it still works. You can come over here, and you can do it. Uh, you can do it over here, and it'll go far. I mean, it works pretty much anywhere. And, and so, as you can see, right, so I can even do, like, gel. Or I can even do one of my master baits. And then, just reel it all in, and look at all, I just got a sword fist. Uh, now, if you don't know what that is, it is one of the uh, fish that you can fish at the ocean, along with the reaver shark, and I don't remember the other one. But as you can see, I also got a bunch of crates from this. I wasn't using a great potion. Um, and so, I actually got two swordfish, which is pretty good. Uh, now, it's swordfish. Swordfish um, are actually spears, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so there's the glitch. As you can see, we can open all this up, and we get, uh, since I'm in hard mode, just like I was in a lot, oh, and I got some tsunamis in a bottle, um, but I got some uh, hard mode ores, and then you can just go down, and you can just collect, like, all this. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not dying underwater, it is because I have the... 
uh, the Celestial Cell, which turns you into Mere Folk whenever entering water, which is pretty helpful. Um, so yeah, that's just um, a little, another glitch that you can do. thought I'd share it with you. It's already been done before, but, you know, um, might as well just get it out there again. Because uh, this is another glitch that's been around for a long time. And, um, no one really, uh, like, and it still hasn't been patched. So, uh, just another real quick thing, um, is, uh, whenever you're fighting Duke Fishon, as you can see, I have fought him, because I have the trophy right there. Um, you, a good thing to do is actually put down some asphalt, which you need a cement mixer. Uh, you put down some asphalt. I don't remember the entire recipe. You want to get, uh... I, either the Master Ninja Gear, or the Shield of Cthulhu, or anything that grants the dash. And then you want Frost Spark Boots. I don't have them on right now. Or any type of the four. Oh, that's another thing you can get. You can actually get Flurry Boots from this. But you want Flurry Boot? No, Flurry Swinter. Whatever. Uh, you can get Flurry Boots, Hermes Boots, any, uh, any of those. Just any of the boots that will like, make you go fast. Even the Spectre Boots work. And then you want to double tap forward uh, with the Hermes boots, and it will. Uh, if I had, or uh, uh, you want to dash forward, and then if you have them on, it will uh, peak you at like 65. That is a really good tactic for fighting Fisheron. So like, uh, if you have the Meow Meow, um, then you just do this, and you only need one row really. And if you want to make this even better. If you put a teleporter at one end with detector blocks right before it, um, and then put another one at the other end, you can just run in one direction the whole time, and it'll keep weeping you back around. Uh, so I thought I would just share that, uh, really quickly as well. Um, so, yeah, um, there, there's the fishing glitch, uh, it's, I, I enjoy using this glitch often. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, and then just be them all in. And so, yeah, it's, it's really good. Uh, and thank you for watching. See you all next time.